Takeda built a state-of-the-art clinical manufacturing facility at its global R&D center in Boston, Massachusetts. Here, scientists can manufacture different types of autologous and allogeneic cell therapies for clinical trials in the US, EU, and Japan. Cell therapies are engineered from human cells that are stored in liquid nitrogen. An autologous therapy must be manufactured as quickly as possible in order to get it to the waiting patient. Allogeneic therapies are developed to be stored for immediate off-the-shelf use. Cell therapies are manufactured in a regulated clean room environment. The specialists who work in a clean room suite follow stringent gowning requirements to maintain cleanliness, consistency, and contamination control. To start the manufacturing process, blood is retrieved from the cryobank and passed through an airlock to a clean room lab where the cells are engineered and grown. A specialist thaws the blood and runs it through a machine to isolate specific cancer-killing cells, like T-cells or natural killer cells. The cells are sampled for testing and counting. A certain number of cells are needed to begin the manufacturing process. Once isolated, the specific type of cell is genetically engineered. In cancer therapies, this may involve adding a receptor to target a specific type of cancer or adding cancer-killing proteins. These cells are then transferred from the culture into a growth medium. Specialists count the number of cells throughout the process, which is critical to generate enough cells for a single dose in an autologous therapy or potentially hundreds of doses for an allogeneic therapy. Next, the cells are placed in an incubator where they continue to divide and grow in number. This process takes multiple weeks. Cells are continuously monitored for quality. After incubation is complete, the cell therapies are transferred to vials or bags to begin preparation for delivery to the clinical setting. The cultured cells are washed, harvested, concentrated and formulated into the final therapeutic dose. The treatments are then transferred for storage and shipping. The therapies are placed in a control rate freezer for preservation without damaging the cells. Once they reach the desired temperature, they can be placed back in the cryobank for long-term storage or placed in a cryoshipper for delivery to the clinical setting where they will be administered to the patient.